Hello! Many people visit Norway to admire beautiful nature and hike in the mountains. But did you know that there are places in Norway that can be wiped off the face of the earth in a matter of minutes? And most likely you have heard about them or you are planning a visit. And the most unpleasant thing that catastrophes have already happened in Norwegian history. And now we are here at Luvatnet Lake. Blue Glacier Lake attracts tourists from all over the world with its unique nature and mountain panorama. But at the end of the lake there is a stop with a memorial plate on which the names are written. It was here that two tragedies occurred, which only this poster reminds us of today. In 1905 a devastating landslide with a volume of 350,000 cubic meters collapsed into the lake from a height of 500 meters. This provoked three mega tsunamis with a height of about 40 meters and the waves destroyed Nesdal and Bödel villages. As a result of the tragedy, 61 people died and 60 houses were destroyed. And the tourist boat Ludalen was thrown 300 meters ashore by a wave. Geologists studying this accident concluded that this should never happen again and the destroyed villages were rebuilt. However, on September 13, 1936, the situation repeated itself on a much larger scale. A landslide of 1 million cubic meters collapsed from a height of 800 meters, causing three mega tsunamis up to 74 meters high. The waves destroyed 100 houses as well as bridges, a power plant and several grain factories. A wave almost 13 meters high even reached the northern part of the lake, causing devastating flooding on the river Luelva. As a result of the incident, 74 people died and after this event the villages were no longer restored. Although there are houses and farms on the banks of Luvatnet even today. By the way, the lake area is also avalanche prone because of the steep slopes. And in June 2022 an avalanche came down in the Shendalin Valley, which swept away several cars and a motorhome. It is difficult to predict where and when the avalanche will come down. But the discovered dangerous places of probable landslides today are monitored by geologists with the help of sensors. And the statistics of observations show that the movement of the stone masses continues. Now we're in the picturesque valley Rumsdalen. Surrounded by high mountains, the green river Rauma flows along the bottom of the valley. Here also lays one of the most beautiful railway lines, Raumabanen. And behind me is Mount Manen. Its height is 1294 meters. And on the top of the mountain there is a stone, somewhat resembling a goose. Landslides have already occurred here, because this is an extremely unstable mountainous area. There is even a term here, the annual nominal probability of a large landslide, and it is estimated between 1 100s and 1 1000s, such a risk of a landslide is considered high. And in 2019, 54,000 cubic meters of rock collapsed in one day. On average, the upper part of Mount Manen moves at speed of about 2 cm per year. And the rock shedding may be 20 times larger than it was on Luvatnet, that is about 20 million cubic meters. A landslide from Manen could destroy residential buildings, the E136 highway and the Rauma Banen oh, railway. No. And to create a dam on the river Rauma in the event of breakthrough of which about 1,600 inhabitants of Rumsdalen will be in danger of flooding. This landslide has already worked out several scenarios. This catastrophe is unavoidable, but thanks to the movement tracking it is hoped that people will be evacuated in time. Gerange, the name of the city that is familiar to many, but not everyone knows that it can completely disappear in just 10 minutes. And minutes will be counted if a landslide from Mount Okerneset collapses into the waters of the fjord. This mountain is located in the neighboring fjord Sunelsfjorden, but it can be clearly seen during a cruise on the Geranger fjord. Okerneset is also monitored with sensors, which unfortunately show that the cracks in the mountains are expanding by about 4 cm every year. 
and if a landslide happens, then its volume will be about 50 million cubic meters, which will cause a powerful wave in all directions. Here is the predicted wave height, and in Geranger it will be as much as 70 meters. And if this scenario doesn't seem likely to you, then in 1934 a similar disaster happened in the neighboring fjord where runs the ferry from Ligne to Eidsdal. A wave 16 meters high hit the city of Tartu. Although the volume of the landslide was 25 times less than the threat still dormant on the slope of Mount Okerneset. The topic of the destructive tsunami in Geranger is so relevant that in 2015 was shot the Norwegian film Bergen, which very clearly shows the possible events of the disaster in Geranger. If you haven't watched, then be sure to watch, the movie is really spectacular. And now let's talk about Preikestolen, which is visited by 300,000 tourists every year. It is located in the Rugaland region, at an altitude of 604 meters above the Lissefjorden, and this hike is considered one of the most popular in Norway. And here is also a crack, about half a meter in size. It has been monitored since 1930. Although it looks scary, it doesn't increase significantly. By the way, the legend says that Preikestolen will fall only on the day when seven brothers marry seven sisters, and wedding will sail along the fjord to the church. Well, sounds the conditions are too difficult, and you will definitely have time to visit it. Now we are far away from high mountains and fjords, but here hides a danger of a completely different origin. Previously, this place was an area with residential buildings in the town of Ask, but on December 30, 2020, it disappeared. 14 houses were destroyed in a landslide caused by quick clay. It is a geological feature of countries close to the North Pole, and also in Norway it is very common. Quick clay was formed during the last ice age on the sea floor, the glaciers retreated, the water level dropped and the outlines of the coast acquired modern shape. The clay formed at the bottom of the sea ended up in the soil, and now it can be found at altitudes up to 300 meters. Sea salt makes the clay quite strong due to the lattice structure, but as the salt is washed out of the clay by rain, it loses its strength and instantly turns into a liquid. Depressurization of clay layers can be caused by earthquakes or even simple construction work. There is a special map of quick clay formations in Norway, you can see it by following the link in the video description. But even knowing about quick clay layers oh under no. their houses, people not only continue to live there, but also build new Oops. houses, since this is a feature of the nature of Scandinavia, which is often associated with risk and danger. The purpose of this video wasn't to scare you, we just wanted to talk more about the Norwegian nature. Which sometimes decides to make its own adjustment to the lives and destinies of people. But the same forces that shaped these dangers also created the unique Norwegian nature that we love so much. And you can safely and regularly admire the beautiful Norwegian nature on our YouTube channel. Well, if you are planning a trip to Norway but don't know where to start, on our channel there is a video of the optimal road for 7 days, for which you will see the top 10 wonders of the country. And also, if this video was interesting and informative, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. See you again!